on your side of the bed. Hey, you know something? I think you're right. <laughs> you can't keep me here forever, no matter what John McBain says. Who is it? It's me, Mom. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Come on in. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't um, sleep very well last night, and I'm having a little <laughs> trouble getting motivated this morning. Really? You having trouble getting motivated? You're really upset, Mom. Just admit it. Oh, I would much rather be at the gym than at the hospital this early in the morning. Yeah, I know, but this is going to be good for you. You know, this counselor is going to teach you how to deal with things now that... Now that what? You can say the B word, Chris. I know I'm blind. No, I can't come over there right now. The night manager probably took the keys home with him accidentally. Look, wake him up and do me a favor. Call him first next time. Hey. Hi, Evangeline. Hey, Antonio. What are you doing here? Is everything all right? I don't know. We're supposed to get the results of the paternity test today. This is it, Brennan. After today... Things could change for us forever. What is it? I'm leaving. just want to know once and for all I just hope I don't regret saying those words well knowing has to be better than this limbo this whole thing's crazy I mean it wasn't too long ago you were fighting to keep Jamie now this uh, and there's a hell of a lot more at stake now I mean it's not just who who the father was uh, you know I mean once we we find that out then then we're gonna find out who it was when Brennan was conceived Jessica might not be the mother. Yes, that's that's a possibility. And if and if she's not, we may never see her again. You're leaving. We're finally getting the paternity test back, and all of a sudden you have somewhere else better to be. No. But I can't go with. Why? Why not? This isn't going to be easy for you to hear, Tess. God, what's happening? Because I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. You say it, Nash. Reston threatened you and Brennan. But he threatened us. How did he threaten us? He's gonna kill you. What? Him? He's a, a crotchety old man. He's a crotchety old man who almost had me beat to death. You've forgotten about that? No, I but, haven't, and I won't forget about that. But now we know what we're up against. What we're up against is a dangerous man who's angry and dead serious. Look, if it was just you and me, if I, I might chance it, but I can't, I can't put our baby's life at risk. You wouldn't want that okay, either. Okay, okay. Then we'll just, we'll call the cops. But we can't call the cops. The, the only way for me to protect you and Brandon is for me to give Reston what he wants. And that is? Because I gotta leave town. I can't come back. What happened, Mom? Oh, 
Um, nothing. Really, um, nothing. Hey, <laughs> this has been a horrific week for our entire family. Yeah, but you're usually at your best in a crisis. It's something else. I... I went to see David in jail. You want to talk about it? It's just seeing him there, locked up behind bars. He looks so vulnerable and helpless. Is it true? Did he kill Michael and John's father? It would explain a lot, and yet it explains nothing. What's going to happen to him? I don't know. He could confess. David? Plead guilty? If he did it, it would be the right thing. He asked me to help him get out of jail. Legally? Any way possible. I mean, this is David that we're talking about. I told him that I would help him get a lawyer. That was very generous of you. I was in love with him once. I almost married him once. And he just looked so lost. You're right. That doesn't sound like David. The more lost he feels, the more cocky he acts. But you see, it's this guilt that he's kept buried for so many years, and now it's taken over his life. Well, I'm not going to let it take over mine. I mean... Really, I am doing everything that I possibly can already. Yeah, I mean, you can't break him out of jail. <laughs> that goes without saying. That's going to be, John, because, you know, we've been there once and I won't go back there. What? We made love all night. We were getting close and then you get out of bed, get dressed and shut down. That's not what this is. Really? This is new for both of us. No, not really. We were lying in each other's arms and you have a nightmare. What, we're going to start fighting about dreams now? No, no, honey, we're not fighting. <laughs> because, frankly, I won't have this fight again. You had a bad dream. And then you, you get up and you get out of bed and you're gone. Even when you're here, you're gone and that scares me. God, you're not going to say anything. I'm sorry. Do you know what for? For shutting you out. I know you want this to be different than it was the last time. So do I. You know, Roxy says the tigers don't change their spots. You know as well as I do, tigers don't have spots. She just thinks that I should be careful with my heart. Now, what do you think? I think that Roxy is wrong a lot. Well, what do you think? It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> is it new? Yes. Yes, it is, but, you know, I'm not entirely sure that it's just right for what I have in mind today. Um, 
You know, we were talking about David. Yes. And now I'm finished talking about David, okay? <laughs> Because I am not the sort of woman to dwell on things that, um, you know, I can't do anything about. You loved him, Mom. I never saw you happier than when you two were together. Oh, really? You glowed. And you know, when you're in love, everything just looks better, more perfect. Yes, but that comes from within you. It has nothing to do with the man. Sweetheart, I was happy before I met David, and I'm going to be happy again. I know. But it doesn't mean you're weak if you worry about him. Right, right. Look at the time. I have to get to work. I'm really late. But thank you. Angeline Williamson? I don't see any other blind women in the room. Neither do I. I'm blind too. Oh, I'm sorry. Forget it. I'm Ann. I'll be your counselor. Evangeline Williamson. Officially your worst nightmare. <laughs> Hardly. And you are? I'm Christian Vega. We're friends. And the other man? Wait a minute, how'd you... A trade secret. Evangeline will be doing it soon enough. I'm Antonio Vega. I'm Christian's brother. <laughs> If you gentlemen don't mind, we need to get started. Come with me. Uh, I'll wait for you in here. I think Evangeline's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, I know. If she puts her mind to something... Look out. Damn it. Now, Tessa Lay, we're supposed to be in the genetics lab in a few minutes. Well, we'll show rest and we'll just, we'll all go. I, I mean, we, I hate it here. I feel like a prisoner. It's, it, we don't belong in a mansion with all these servants around us. It's so not us. I mean, the Buchanans don't even want us here really That's anyway. Not hearing me. I need to keep you safe. I am safest with you. Please don't let them do this. Don't let them split us up. We're a family. We always will be. Then stand up and fight for us. How? I can't run. I can't buy them off. I can't kill them. I can't go to the cops. They can't protect us. What do you want me to do? You can't leave me here alone. The Buchanan's... Everybody, the whole town, they want Jessica back, and she is sitting and waiting and watching. Yes. If you leave, she'll come back. No. You're stronger now. You can stop her from coming back. What if I can't? I want to raise our baby. I want to watch her grow up. But you think I don't? So do I. But that's not going to happen if we run. We're not running, Nash. We're just, we're taking our life back. Back from Claudia and the Buchanans and her vigilante father and everybody else who's making bets on when Jessica's coming back. Look, if Brennan's out. She is ours. I think so, too. But we got to find out for sure. I mean, if... What if we're wrong? Hmm? Antonio's just waiting for his chance to snatch her back up from us and... Vicky and Clint, they're all waiting for that envelope to open and find out that they've won the Brennan sweepstakes, and I don't need a DNA test to know that she is our kid. You say we need to be safe, okay? Well, let's just go. Let's run. Let's never look back. This is not how it works. I leave alone, or you and the baby will die. No. No, this is crazy talk. I mean, Reston is all talk. We have no reason to be afraid of him. Reston was here, in this room. Or more likely, one of his goons were here. But it, 
In the nursery? Yeah, in the nursery. I, I found this in her crib. In her crib! It was leaning up against her. Well, a hundred times. What I can't figure out is if you're excited about it. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> oh, Dr. Lord, what a pleasant surprise. Detective, may I come in? What can I do for you? I need some information. Oh, is this information you couldn't have gotten down at the station? I want the truth, not some official story. How solid is your case against David? I'm sorry, why would I give you this information? Because David and I were very close, and I may be able to tell you something that would strengthen your case, some tidbit that maybe you haven't stumbled across yet. Well, I can't say it's an ongoing investigation. Oh, 25 years, I'll, I'll say it's ongoing, but... Do you have any tangible evidence against him? We have some credible leads. I'm sure there'll be more. And you're willing to let him rot in jail for something that happened 25 years ago? Are you suggesting I let him walk because he's gotten away with it for so long? What if he were to express remorse? Would that make a difference? Let's cut to the chase. Dr. Lord, did David tell you he killed my father? Visitor. Adriana. Hi. Hey. Is everything all right at Craze? You're about to be charged with murder and you're worrying about if everything's all right at Craze. Well, what are you doing in a dump like this? I'm a loser, kid. Why even bother? Well, that's what I came to ask you. Should I care about you, David? Are you worth it? You're not really blind, are you? Completely. Since I was 15. Car accident. Oh, that's terrible. It is what it is. You made it all the way down the hall, onto the elevator, and into this room without hesitation. I work here. I know my way around. What are you, reading? Braille? Haven't you ever seen a Helen Keller movie? Yeah, I just never thought I would be in one. What are you, typing? What you don't know about being blind could fill a big, fat, braille book, couldn't it? Yeah, well, I wasn't planning on losing my sight. Well, now that you have, do you want to opt for a full, productive life? Or are you planning to spend the rest of your life wallowing in self-pity? This is not self-pity. What is it, then? It's terror. Some monster put his hand on our child. It was just a warning. It was a threat. He wants us to know that we're being watched. I'll kill him. Yeah, it's great. You kill him, and now Brennan's got to grow up without a mummy. We just got to play this thing out, Tess. I can't do it alone. Yes, you can. You can. You have to. You are stronger than you think. You just got to take care of her until I get back. I thought you weren't coming back. I'm coming back. You really think I could just walk out on the two of you? Why not? I'm damaged goods. No, you're not. Don't say that. Don't you ever say that again. You are my wife. In every way that counts, you are my wife. And I'm going to protect you. But to protect you, i got to leave again. All right? We just got to work together on this. Come on, stay. What is the matter with Reston? You're not even with Claudia. You're not never going to go back to her. He, he, he sees his daughter. She's still messed up, and he blames me well, for that. Well, you should look in the mirror. I can fix this. All right? I'm going to take care of the Restons. I can't... I can't lose you. You're my life. You and this baby, you make me real. No, no, you make you real. With your will and your heart, you've made you real. Take care of things. Reston doesn't want me. If you and Nash are gone, 
Brandon will be safe. Let me take care of her little girl. You just gotta trust me, Tess. All right, I'm going to take care of the Restons, and then I'll be back as soon as I can. You can do this. You're strong enough. You just got to take care of Brennan until I get back. You have to go. It's the only way. Adriana, there's something that you ought to know about me. People say that I'm egocentric and vainglorious, but I have bad qualities too. <laughs> Underneath this seemingly perfect exterior, I'm just a con man. Because that's the way you let people see you. Adriana, that is me. No, it's not. You see the good in everybody. You're my friend, and there's plenty of good in you. I wouldn't be here otherwise. You could almost convince me, but I know the truth. Did you shoot John and Michael's father? Your mother was here. Yeah, I know. She's pretty upset. Breaking dishes upset or just buying new shoes upset? Well, she's acting like she doesn't care what happens to you. But when she's alone, it's like she can't think about anything else. David didn't confess anything to me. You're not together anymore. So tell me again why you're protecting a murderer. I would have to see proof in order to believe that. We live in the United States of America. For the moment, the concept of innocent until proven guilty still stands. Why are you here again? I need to know your plans for David. The DA is preparing to file formal charges since the grand jury intervenes. Oh, in other words, you're holding him without cause. I wouldn't say that. As soon as the Cochrane mess is cleared up, the DA will be able to present his case. If David hadn't found I'm sorry, Margaret I'm... Cochrane, Todd would be dead. Doesn't that make a difference? No. John saved Todd's life. Nobody else. Wow. Tess, it's Antonio. I'm at the hospital. Where are you? Damn it. No answer? No, and Nash isn't answering either. I know there's something going on. Look, maybe they're just having a rough time getting here. They have the baby, remember? Look, don't you think I know that? I mean, that's what this whole thing is about. Uh, Christian, they've run off before, and depending on what that test says, this could be their last chance. I mean, they may take the baby and disappear. I don't think they would do that. It's too risky. Yeah, well, I'm not wasting any more time. You call me if they show up. Tess, you got to believe in me. You've believed in me up to now. Don't stop believing in me. You won't be here. Yes. Yes, I will. I'll be right there. I'll be right there in the baby. All right, you and I are both a part of her. I love you. Now we'll do anything to protect you. This is just the beginning of our life. Please say you still believe in me. I never stopped. I never will. I'll be back. Don't, don't, don't. I'll be back. I will be back. Okay. All right? So tell her. Tell her goodbye. Tell her exactly what you told me. Daddy loves you. You take care of your mommy till I get back, okay? She's gonna need you. Okay. Be safe.
You're going to be all right. Please just go. I love you. You had five senses, and if you're like most people, you relied on your eyes for almost everything. I did. It's a loss, but you can handle it. You have to learn to use the tools you were born with. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm so tired of listening to every little thing that I pass out like a stone, and then I start to dream, and I can see until I open my eyes. I know. Are your dreams like that? After all these years, they're beautiful. But they're dreams. That's no excuse for not living. Yeah, well, not to diminish what happened to you, but you were a kid. You know, I'm, I'm an adult. I have to take care of myself. I'm a lawyer, and I have to read people's faces. What if I'm not good at that anymore? Not to mention, I, I have to take care of my sister and my friends. Okay, get over that crap right now. You're blind. It's a fact, but it doesn't change who you are. Just how you do things. How I do things is who I am. Type A, aren't you? How'd you guess? You'll be fine. Drive me crazy trying to be perfect on the first day, but I'll deal. You're not the first, and who knows? Maybe you'll be a better lawyer when you learn how to listen. Hey, no lawyer jokes, please. The man you came with, Christian, is he your boyfriend? No, but we're um, close. Were you close before you lost your sight? Yeah, but in a different way.、Uh, he's unexpected. The way he takes care of me, and I don't know. I guess I just never thought I would feel that way again. You know. I believe you two know each other. Oh, you know the reason there's no statute of limitations on murder. It's because of the people who are left behind, because they never get over it. John and Michael grew up without a father because David did something stupid, and maybe he thought it was a mistake. But the McBains, well, it changed their lives forever. Well put, but the damage has been done. They're not going to get over it until David gets what he deserves. You're displaying admirable devotion, but John, I know how much you have suffered. I am just asking you to please be fair. I'm just a cop, lady. My understanding of fairness doesn't extend beyond catching criminals trying to put them in jail. Have you never made a mistake? If David did do this horrific thing, if he really did shoot your father, it was when he was a boy. Yes, a very young and stupid boy who who was trying to prove something to someone. But he has suffered for it. It has haunted him all of these years. It has kept him from becoming the kind of man that he could have been. That's very nice, but I'm not very big on excuses. We are not talking premeditated. This was an accident, and if David really was responsible, he has suffered for it. Please, detective, be fair to him. Don't let this be personal. It's his father. Thank you for the reminder, Natalie. Do I need to remind you both? There was, there were extenuating circumstances. All right, okay. I think we're done here. I think we're done here. David will have his day in court. I suggest you save your circumstances for a jury. Thank you for your time. She gets you. No, not at all. Seeing Dorian here the other day. Like seen an angel. She's no saint, mind you, but 
And of all the people I didn't expect to see. Do you still love her? She still love me? You need to ask her that. What about you? What do you think about me now? I love you. I love you very much. And I always will. Why? So many reasons. And I want to believe the best in you, David. But a man died. And I know if you were responsible, you didn't mean it. It just happened. But he was a father and a husband, and people loved him too. And if it is your fault that he died, you need to face it. If you did that, I could still be proud of you again. If that matters. It does. Mom's gonna get you a great lawyer. And the rest is up to you. Mama loves you. So, so much. <laughs> protect you. But you don't have to be afraid, sweetie. Because you have got a big family. And they all love you so much. And they're they're good people. They're just not me. Because I'm your mom. I know that now. Nash is your dad. And he's never ever gonna leave you. I love you too so much. I love you more than my own life. And I want you to have everything. Everything good. That's that's why I have to go. So you can have a life. But I can't promise that I'll be back. But I can't promise that I'm gonna try as hard as I can to get back to you. I promise. But you have to do me a favor. In case we don't see each other again. You. When your daddy comes home. You have to make him feel how much I love him. And you have to let him know that I fought really, really hard. I fought as hard as I could. Okay? I fought as hard as I could. You're going to do fine, Evangeline. You're a lot like me, and I can do anything anybody else does. I just can't see myself doing it. And... I'm going to kick your butt till you get it right. <laughs> She's all yours. I didn't even knock. I'm psychic. Ask her. I have a meeting. Sign up for those classes today so your boyfriend can spend more time taking you nice places and less time getting you there. Well, Christian... She either is psychic or her hearing is amazing. This whole session was like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she's pretty scary and and she's inspiring. Yeah, I got that. So, you told her I was your boyfriend? Oh. No. Hmm. Maybe she is psychic. train doesn't leave for a few hours, so do you still want me to go with you to your father's grave? Yeah, uh, not today, though. Soon. Okay, just let me know. 
So I'll uh, call you when I get to the hotel. Something I want to say to you. About earlier, I didn't mean to shut you out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I shouldn't have badgered you. I mean, I've had my share of bad dreams. So we're okay? Yeah, we're okay. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks. Yes, I promise. Tess. Jessica. Jessica. <laughs> the next one like to live. I was waiting for you. Why? So I could do this. Are you the father? Margaret, say hello to Todd Manning. 